Actually, actually, you know what? You know what? Actually, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, y'all. So it is currently 11:35 p.m. The entire my family is asleep. Okay. Um, and for some reason, I had the wonderful idea of making myself watch <laughs> this show. Okay, because I have an internet friend who is very. They like this show. And I just have to finally come to the conclusion because I have heard nothing but bad things about this show, about this creator. From what I've seen, you know, I've seen nothing but like, you know, cringe, you know, cringe, that type of shit. So we're just going to get my raw reaction. I'm going to finally de determine, is this show cringe or are people just like really annoying, right? So I'm just starting with the pilot, okay? I'm, I'm assuming this must be a good place to start. It must be. I know from this one other YouTuber, PM Rants, back when he tried to like get into My Little Pony because that bronies were a big thing. I remember he he watched the pilot episode of that show, and apparently that show's pilot episode's like really bad or something. Like it's like not a good representation of the rest of the show. I'm hoping that that's not the situation here. But I'm going to just try to give this show an honest to god chance. This is gonna be my genuine ass reaction. Okay. No, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try. We're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> Again, genuine ass reactions. Here we go. I all <laughs> okay. okay. I just remember that this is like a musical series. This is not good, bro. Okay. You guys are gonna think this is a joke, but I literally just got done listening to Do Pimp a Butterfly for the first time. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> so I'm, I'm coming into this with uh, coming off of that, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even have like any like big statement. I just, just I just want that to let it speak for itself. <laughs> so let's just let's continue. Also, look look at and the next one is Owl House, which has a similar, uh, similarly reviled fan base. Oh God! Okay, she's having a song about how she hates her life. Okay. Oh, you have Okay. Okay, they are in hell. Hmm. It's like a it's like a very Disney princess s kind of thing, you know, going on. I, I gotta. Oh God. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's great you hear me. I can't let it get out of my my services to randos. What is this four kids mute ass music? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yoink! Hey! Up yours, drag show! Okay, I have to stop here. I remember some people on like Instagram or some shit were like, Oh, the show is cringe because they get drugs from the vending machine. I remember literally saying, like, guys, it's hell. I, I, like, it's hell, okay? Sorry, very specific. Like, I don't even have like the source for what I'm talking about, but that, that happened once. That was pretty swell. Boss. Why is that guy's voice familiar? I would seize control of the entire okay, okay. side of the He's program by day's end. Lackeys are like. <gasps> uh oh. Get that tinker toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it. More. Oh, you want to I like that. That was funny. The turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse <laughs> Cherry Bomb. What? That's right, Tom. Those two seem to really be going at it. Huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth Damn, and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good jackass, Tom. Uh, okay. No Coming up next, what? we have an exclusive yeah. interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho. The like mid segment, oh, but I mean, I'm not like. Up, you little bitch. Okay, I mean I'm not like pissing my pants. Okay, 
crying. Do you remember what to say? Cringing. It's like, okay. Yeah. Come on, Vaggy. I know what to say. Vaggy. Like please don't sing. This is serious. I agree. Well, you know, please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. I kind of like the dynamic going I'll on just there. Have the result to my impeccable improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. Uh oh. <laughs> You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make for his cannibal the cooking dunk. segment. Okay. You must be some <laughs> welcome back. Very mean. Gosh, you are my people. We we just went through another extermination. Okay, now let me just. I, I know I'm jumping in here, but here's the thing, right? So far, I'm I kind I kind of am like I'm I'm not I don't hate this I don't hate this, I mean right now it's like Charlie here is like the you know happy one or okay well like you know the basically everyone around here is supposed to be horrible like that's kind of the point they're supposed to be horrible they're supposed to swear they're in hell and she's like about to do some like you know Disney princess shit like you know here we go. So I'm I'm not see like like it's fine so far it's fine. I'm opening the first of its kind, a hotel that rehabilitates sinners. Why is it a hotel? You know, <laughs> should it be like are rehab? For people passing through. Passing through. Oh. Temporarily. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. Uh oh. I mean, this is pretty well made. Look at one frame. Wow, that was shit. Uh oh, mean. We have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Someone named Angel Dust. Oh! We are receiving word that uh -oh. a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. None other than porn actor Amy. In well, okay. <laughs> okay that's that's funny. Coincidence. <laughs> Don't look at this. Well, it sure looks like that was funny also. It was good. Her words, not mine. These crazy bitches. Hey, that was gone. the sonic Wait, spring no sound. Haha. <laughs> Cringe. But that was good. What the? F okay. So when I see that was another clip I've seen that people used to be like, "This show is cringe," and they cut it there. But then they bring it back by having Pentius be like, "Is that my son?" Like, so it's a play on that shit because people do say you want to have or whatever. I was I always think that that's cringe. Yeah. But they 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 they, they played with it. They made it a joke. It's a joke. Like that was like. Good, like that was good, straight, like straight up. Like, that was a, that was good. Like that, was, bro. What? I, I mean, I mean, like, I'm sorry, but like, what? My mind is blown right now, bro. Like, literally, from what I heard, I thought this was gonna be like the cringiest shit ever, the cringiest fucking TV show that has ever cringed. And right now, it's just like, like the most I can say is that. The character designs maybe are like a little obnoxious, but like that's just like the show's style. I don't even know like what. That's just like a little thing. And, and again, the, the language is you know it is definitely like you know there's a lot of swears, a lot of vulgarity. But again, it's it's in hell. It that's like part of the point. That's like the point, and it's not like unbearable. Like I don't. Wow. I'm gonna keep going. So cocky now. You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Uh, I've been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. So they just. It's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? So again, the, he was making a lot of very, <laughs> again, mood sex jokes, whatever. Again, they acknowledged, and, and look, being self-aware doesn't immediately make it okay, right? But again, I, it's like. It's a point. His character is that he's like a, supposed to be like a you know sleazy fucking porn star, or whatever. So it makes sense. He's making a bunch of these like weird. Okay, okay, we, you got it. You got you you got it. You got it. This. 
so let's go ahead. Halfway point. Oh, who's this? Oh, okay, it just... Okay. Everyone wants some of me, and I got the creepy fan that is to prove it. God. That was really uncool, you know, Angel. I What's that sound effect? <laughs> this guy's bad news. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the radio demon is at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! I hate him. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so. Okay. Okay. Now, Edgy. I'm here because I want to help. I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. That's kind of funny. Such a good motivation. Okay, okay. The world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So does this? I kind of okay. He he. This guy is definitely a bit annoying. However, that concept of like this like radio guy whose voice is like literally the radio and it's like going in and out. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's cool. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of Betterment. Okay, this is a this is like a good this is a good this is a good like bro. Oh. <laughs> this is like I like the motivation like the motivation here is like kind of like an original idea, right? Cuz you know, the the cliche thing would be oh, he's he's a guy who shares Charlie's sentiments and wants to fucking, you know, find redemption or whatever, but like having it having it instead be him like just you know, just doing it out of sheer boredom because he wants to see her fail, but then like that but like like still supporting her so that she can it, it's that's like a good idea. That's like a good that's good. <laughs> Yeah, he's like very, very evil. Right. I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. Uh oh. Gotta be more specific. No shaking. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. <laughs> Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Okay, cool. So yeah, there was there was no oh, deal oh, made either. You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> alright, alright, you got the you know typical the so chauvinist shit. Alright, okay. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. The line. I like that cut though, that cut was well, funny. It's because <laughs> it's just so like bully, it's like what the fuck, it just cuts, it just, yeah, that shit was just funny. Again, that's, that's another clip that people usually cut halfway through with no context. And yeah, it's cringe and bad and without the context, but in context it makes sense. And he had a, like a good split second reaction to it that was like funny and good and fine. Iving things up. Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh man, what the fuck, man? Get your ass on, bro. Get your ass on, bro. Get your ass on, bro. Okay, very annoying. Wait, boys. Oh. Hell? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this piece of shit? Glad you can make it. Don't you husker me, you son of a bitch. I was about to Where who the fuck is sorry, where are they right now? What happened? What just happened? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm assuming he left and he's hiring this guy or some shit. If you wish. What? You think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well you can! Hey, no alcohol! 
this is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of now brothel man cave. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the happy hotel. You are going to love it here. I lost the ability to love years ago. This is amazing. It's okay. But how this is, is going to be very how it no, 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 no. I don't buy that chart. <laughs> Charlie just went on a big fucking song and dance about do not, you know, know the sin, no sin or whatever, and this guy comes in doing that sh no, 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 I don't buy that. I don't buy that she suddenly became stupid. This is not... no. You have a dream. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh, this place is going down the rails. Uh oh. This feels like like a completely secondary plot that's like Okay. Uh sorry, I'm currently not speaking because I just came up with a uh re revelation about what the show is. I will um get back to that. Oh boy. Uh oh, they made it to the, the title. Uh oh. Oh god, okay. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna just click through. Okay. Oh, post credit scene, post credit scene. Now will you shoot me with your ray gun? Hold on, no, 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 no. You can't show that quote <laughs> for. Point for like fucking half a second, like not even a single second. Excuse you. Let's see what we're we looking at. Animation is basically not so much a technical implement as the expression of the spirit behind it. To see that spirit goes into your shooting must be your overriding. It. Okay, whatever. All right, y'all. So thoughts. It is now twelve thirteen a.m. Um. So that was like fine. That was that 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 was perfectly fine, Un uh, unless the show gets significantly worse and more annoying later on, then I don't see what the big fuss is about. What all the big you know cringe whatever is. Maybe it's like the fan base or something, because the show itself is like fine. Again, if I have to like, if I have to really like, if I if you want me to nitpick and be negative, like I guess it's like a little obnoxious. It's definitely a bit obnoxious. Sometimes, and yes, I think the set the setting right being hell or whatever and everyone's swearing can be a little overbearing, I think. And the fact that it is a, is a musical, right, you know, musical type things, or people generally don't like that. I'm Admittedly, I'm kind of in that crew. I'm not really a big, like, musical kind of guy, so I'm just not really, you know, like, like, like am I going to watch more of this? Probably not, to be totally honest. Okay, so sorry, internet friend who is watching this, but I, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably not going to watch any more of this because it's just not my thing, but I respect it a lot more now that I actually watched it. Because look, YouTube is a piece of shit, bro. Why is it just loading forever? Can you just... No. Oh. No. All right. Here, we're going to just go on that one frame. Where's that one frame? Here. Dick. Fuck. Okay, that was too fast. There we go. Look. Okay. Again. Character designs can be a bit, of, like, a bit freaky. Freaky bobeaky. Uh, what am I, what am I, <laughs> what am I saying? Look, okay, it, this show is a bit annoying. I kind of get it. On the other hand, though, it's, like, fine. I don't know what else to say. The jokes were, like, pretty okay. It, it, it's, the show is very, like, it's, like, really competently made. Like, voice acting is pretty good. Is good. I'd say. Animation is pretty good. There were, like, maybe one or two scenes where the characters didn't really seem like or like there's this one scene in particular that like kind of got me in my head where Charlie is outside. Yeah, this one. I feel like this one doesn't look like she's really there. Maybe? I might be crazy though. But, I mean, again, it's just competently made. Again, a little cringe because musical and annoying and setting that has a lot of swears and all that stuff. But, again, it, it all comes together and it makes a believable world. There were some pretty original ideas there. You know, like the guy coming in, 
wanting Charlie to, you know, wanting to, you know, bring up Charlie just so she, just so he could watch her like fail, right? You know, the stuff with Angel Dust, right? He's definitely, you know, he's, you know, cringe in that like a oh, haha sex joke way but it's like the point and they acknowledge it and but it's but the, but it's not like the, it's not like the self-deprecating acknowledgement like they actually do something with it right i don't know oh yeah uh i forgot i was gonna say my um revelation now y'all again like i said i i have never watched okay my little pony all right however from what i've heard of the series is this has is this just a ripoff of my little pony is this like the same thing because that's the vibe I'm getting. I know that the My Little Pony show has, like, musical segments. I know that it has, like, some weird... There's, like, some dragon guy or some shit who I think is a villain. I'm assuming that that Pentius is a... I'm assuming Pentius is a reference... Is, like, is, he, is he, like, an analog to that? Again, I haven't seen the show. I don't know. Is this... Is that what this is, though? Is that, like, what... Is that... The, is, it, is it, is like, of the same ilk? That would also explain the whole fan base thing. Let me look it up. This is this is a very good I'm sure this is a very good search that I will not regret. Okay. I'm trying to see like if there's like any like statements like yeah, we were inspired by it, but again, I don't know. I'm talking completely out of my ass. Look, the show is fine. I mean, I, I already said everything I could say, bro. I don't know. It's fine. I, again, I'm not going to watch it because it's not my thing personally, however. I think it's overblown the hate to this show. So, if you watch this show, um yeah. Uh, this edible ain't shit.